the first thing that we talked about last week was whether or not O.J. Howard's being put on the trade block meant that Rob Gronkowski was going to be going to Tampa Bay. And we both said, he's not in football shape. Like, this is just ridiculous. He signed a contract with the WWE. He's out of football. The buddy's done. He's he's out of here. It is what it is. I mean, they they already got Cameron Bright, and they got O.J. Howard. Why would the Bucs need Rob Gronkowski? He's been beat up. He's been injured. And now he doesn't have his weight on him. Why would you want to go get him? Well, the reason you want to go get him is because of Tom Brady. That's right. The deal is a seventh-round pick and the rights to Rob Gronkowski for a fourth-round pick from the Tampa Bay Bucks. Now, now that's what's being reported, by the yeah, way. That's, no one has solid information on that. And getting when the Patriots are involved in a trade, we know that the only report information is coming from the team they're trading to. Because yeah. the Patriots just don't leak information. They don't talk to the media about anything. You get the information when it happens and becomes available for everybody, public knowledge, but nothing comes from there. So that's what's been leaked from Tampa. Yeah, so far. Basically um, a fourth-round pick for for a guy that was re- retired. <laughs> and, and if you trade O.J. Howard, I'm sure that you could probably get a fourth-rounder back. Probably. So more than likely, you will get your pick back. Uh, Jay Glazer tweeted out a little bit ago. He said, as only Rob Gronkowski can do, just got a voice message from him with simply, I'm back. But it's, I'm back. He's stoked. All of this moved very quickly. He uh, Gronk has already passed his physical. Um, and, and everybody is reporting the the seventh and Gronk for the Bucks' fourth-round selection. Uh, but they're all getting it from Tampa. Yeah. which Which could very well be it. But yeah. you are only getting one side of the information. True. Um, so, uh, Michael jumped in. He said, sup, Matt. So, obviously, we got some uh, some back and forth here on the show. Uh, Michael did say, regardless if it works out for the Bucks, it's going to be entertaining as hell. And then Matt said he does have time to get back to game shape. Five months, he can add some muscle, and he has had a year to recover. Now, that's, I, that's the I biggest I agree thing. with all of that. Yeah, he, he's got time to put on the mass. And... And Ian Rappaport and somebody else was saying that he's already been working to add muscle back. Uh, we did just see him at WrestleMania. He's he's skinny, but he's in shape. Yeah. And I, no, he's I, in great shape. Yeah, I think it might be easy for him to put that mass back on because when your body is used to it, I think. I mean, I think he can do it. Well, so, and the other action is: is are we going to get football at a normal time anyway? I mean, does he have to be ready by the September one when the NFL usually starts, or is it going to be October and he's got you know basically half a year to put down the weight, put on the weight? And I mean, really, I'm I'm curious how much he would have to put back on. I mean, are we looking at you know forty, fifty pounds of muscle? Yeah. I, probably. And, and I don't know the answer to that. I just know this: when he retired and literally the start of last year when he was doing a lot of TV shows talking about football going on Fox, he, he looked like half a man, but that's just the way you lose a lot of weight. Sometimes it comes from weird different places. And, and so we don't, we don't know exactly what he lost, how much he's got to put back on. And basically it's not about a weight thing. If he's physically strong enough and still has the speed, he knows how to run routes. He knows how to run an offense to uh to to block and to and to you know to do all the things that he's supposed to do, it's just getting strong enough to do those things at a high level. Matt said uh, it could actually play in his favor, less weight and could be quicker. Yep. I think part of what made him so ridiculous though, like forget the the quickness, uh, he had the ability to go up and get the football whether he was surrounded by three other people or whatever, right. and Besides. he was an incredible blocker. I mean, well, yeah, he's the best blocking tight end, but that yeah. can easily be taken out of his game in Bruce Arians' offense. I mean, at the end yeah. of the day, that's what Bill used him for. It's what Josh McDaniels used him for. If Bruce is saying, no, I want you to be lighter, I want you to be Jimmy Graham and not Rob Gronkowski, I don't know that he'd have a problem with that. You know, I, don't think so I, I want you to be Tony Gonzalez. I want you to be, you know, Travis Kelsey. The first time, the next time Travis Kelsey blocks somebody will be the first time Travis Kelsey's ever blocked anybody. <laughs> so. Uh, and that's not yeah. a knock on him. He's an elite tight end. No, you're right. You're right. But he's just an offensive weapon, and Bruce might be saying, hey, let's just get him in to be an offensive weapon, and we'll figure out the offensive line from there. Yeah, you're uh, You're right. 
you're right. So, uh, apparently, Tom Brady never made it a secret. He wanted Gronkowski to join him regardless of where he went. Um, you know, it's... I, I'm a little surprised. I'm just... It, it, from from all the reports, Drew Rosenhaus said that Gronk is going to honor his current contract at the time. So, he's going to, you know, he he's, he's going to be fine. I, I think everything's going to work out okay. Uh, Mike asked a question on... YouTube, he said, "You think a year off will hurt him, or did it give his body a chance to fully or to get fully healthy?" Uh, I don't think there's any way it hurt him. I, I mean, you get out of you get out of game speed. Like if Jason Witten came back and was perfectly fine. I like know. I mean, Jason Witten was pretty mediocre to to bad when he left, and he yeah. was about the same when he came back. But he's never been as athletic as Gronk. No, so, no, Gronk not at is all. still really young. In in life expectancy, football wise, he's old, but they're going to ask him to do a very specific thing, and and I think he'll be fine at doing that. This shocks me. Nobody seemed to enjoy retirement as much as Gronk. Yeah, um, and you usually come back to this because you're bored and you're just used to doing the same thing over and over again. And Gronk just didn't live that life. That wasn't his life, and so I just didn't see this happening. Well, I mean, he's he's under contract with the WWE. Uh, Ian Rappaport brings up a very interesting point. He is the 24-7 champion after WrestleMania. Uh, does he need to give up the title to be able he, to play for the Bucks? Lo- he, will, he will lose that title at the next... Whatever the uh, next event is. Yeah. Yeah, yeah He'll this lose is, that title. This is crazy. This is, I did not see this one coming at all. I um, didn't either. I didn't, I knew Tom wanted him, but you want somebody all you want. If that guy doesn't want to play anymore and he's having a good time being who he is. The problem is this. Gronk is under quarantine just like the rest of us, and he's not out there partying, and he's bored, and he thinks, well, if I get back into football, at least it'll give me something to do. Well, I'm I'm curious if if it's not just that or it's he was just done playing for the Pats. No, like I, gosh, no. That has nothing to do with it. There's nothing to do with it. Being done playing for the Pats, what does that have to do with anything? Well, I, I, I mean, he takes a year off. Brady leaves. He wanted to play with Brady, but not bad enough to go no. like, go back to the no, Pats he, last year. I don't know that last year he was, A, all the amount of weight that he lost August of last year when we first saw him, really, that he couldn't have came back last year. And if he did, he was not back by until, like, week eight. Okay. Yeah. He, I mean, he looked anemic last year. Yeah, he really did. He really did. Uh, Michael said, "Yeah, he uh, more of a weapon. Someone the other team has the game plan for. Help Sevens and Godwin." Uh, Mike said, "I thought they would get AB before they got Gronk." I, no, there's no. I don't. No, I, I don't that think that. I would have. I would have picked Gronk if that was my choice. I would have said neither. Uh, you know, up till yesterday, or, or I guess up till today. But but I would have absolutely thought Gronk comes back before AB. Yeah, yeah, I, I'm i with you 100%. 100%. All right, let's move into the next topic, and I know this is one that uh, that you will be able to help explain